Hey, this is David with Tech Smart Boss. In this video, I'm going to actually give you a course preview of how to get started with Task in the HubSpot CRM, one of my favorite sections of, of HubSpot. Uh, and if you are setting up, you might want to check out techsmartboss.com slash HubSpot after you watch this video to learn about all the other things that we can teach you about how to get HubSpot set up right for your business. So stay tuned for the Task section. Now let's talk about the task component of HubSpot CRM. Now, personally, this is one of the more valuable pieces of the CRM for me, especially if you're very busy and you're tracking lots of activities and customers. These tasks are essential to create. And we'll show you once we get the plugin created how to do a little bit more seamlessly. But I'll tell you how I do it every day inside the CRM. Now, if you go, to, you'll see I've got absolutely no tasks. This is brand new and fresh right now. Just to go over this, you'll see that there's a couple different cues and views that I can, you know, click quickly to look at here. I can also switch by owner and by type of task. You'll see there's to-dos, emails, and calls. And I can change my time range uh, if I wanted to at these columns. And you'll notice that I can create a task here. Now, I don't recommend you create your task uh, at at the task screen because you'll see all you can do is a title give it uh, when it's due and a time perhaps and that's going to be the majority of what you can do from this screen itself we'll get to this queue in a second what I recommend you do and really anything that you do from a uh, uh, activity perspective do it at the contact level or at best the company level but I say at the contact level so let's say that I had a meeting with Anthony uh, at this particular uh, day, you'll see that when I'm on the contact screen, there's the create task button here. And the advantage of doing it from here is it's going to be associated. You'll see the associated records get a a attached by default. Not only the associated record of the user, also their company. I can associate a deal with it if I wanted to. And you could do all the things that we were talking about before where I can set my due date, add a time, the type, assignment, get myself email reminders and even put it in a task queue if I wanted to. So I'm just going to give uh, uh, this is just an example task. Don't forget to do this. I mean, whatever your task might be. And then I can say that this is going to be a uh, let's say I'm going to set up a call for this person. Now, as a as a team leader, you can assign this to yourself or to another rep, which I really like the fact that you can give task assignments this way. This reduces the amount of email or Slack chat or however you communicate with your team because I can assign this to a rep and send them an email reminder on when I want them to get a reminder. So let's say I wanted to have this done by Friday at, uh, at let's say, noon. I might say send them a reminder the day that it's uh, due at a particular time, or I might say the day before at maybe 10.30 a.m. So you could do all sorts of things like that. And I can even associate this with a deal if I wanted to. So very easy to do that. Let's just uh, pick any deal just to associate that. So a lot of power when you do it from the contact record itself. Let's go ahead and save this task. You'll see now that that task is... Uh, assigned to this rep. It's got all that metadata that we just set up. I can delete it if I want. I can edit it if I want. I can also, you'll notice by attaching that company name, if I go to that company record, I'll be able to see that task in the company perspective as well. So let's go ahead and click on that company name. You'll see that task is there as well, which is really nice. Uh, and if I go now to my task screen, I'll have that task there. Now notice I've got it by default to myself. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this to all users. And now you'll see that I've got a task here. Now, you'll notice that the task has all sorts of statuses. You may use this for your process. I don't. I just want to know if, if a task is, you know, open or closed. Open or completed is the only thing that I care about. But what I would do uh, when I complete that task is I would essentially come in here and actually I like to look at the table for my task. And you'll see I can just uh, go ahead and edit that task straight from here or delete it. I don't like to delete tasks. What I, what I like to do is set a task to complete once it's done. I'm going to go ahead and reset this back to myself. 
and you see when I edit it I can change the assigned to change the due date or I can mark as complete and do all those sorts of things so that's how you can bulk edit a task uh, that particular way so very nice features in here as you set those up uh, and then you can also kind of click and see what's due this week by your different sales reps so that's a short look at the task we'll take a deeper look when we get into the plugin same concept as before if I wanted to add extra columns maybe I wanna uh, see who it's assigned to I can add that as a column and now that owner will show up there as well what we'll cover in another video is the concept of queues in the task uh, builder next Hey, if you like this video, be sure to go out to techsmartboss.com slash HubSpot and learn about our course on how you can set HubSpot up in your business. Could be a lot of the advanced tips that you may be missing that we can help you with. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page. We'll be putting out a lot more videos like this, not just on HubSpot, but other technology as well. Thanks for watching.